loyalty and legacy. African people must be loyal to themselves. Loyal to my race. As the Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey said, the practice of race first is one of the most powerful, most powerful defensive weapons within the reach of Negroes throughout the world. If we will look out for ourselves first and stop trying to look out for the Muslims first or the Christians first, but look out for the African first, you would see a change in the manifestation of our current predicament. We must begin to look out for ourselves first. And we must understand that we are part of a greater legacy. My struggle is not separate from the struggle of our Hajj, Malik al-Shabazz, Malcolm X. His struggle was not separate from the Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. And Marcus Garvey's struggle was not separate from the struggle of Alexander Crumbler, Henry Holland Garnett, or Major Dr. Martin Robinson Delaney. And his struggle was not separate from Edward Wilmot Blight. And his struggle was not separate from Patrice Lumumba or James Africanus Bill Horton or Henry Sylvester Williams or John Henry Clark our struggle is one in the same they carried the torch so far and now I got to pick up the torch not reinvent the wheel because when you reinvent the wheel you got to start at the start line all over again why do we keep starting at the start line all over again the white man doesn't start at the starting line all over again nor does the Arab or the Asian but we because we think we know so much more than those who came before us we want to do it all over again we don't have time for that nor is it necessary evaluate what was done Eliminate what is no longer necessary, revise it, improve it, enhance it, and keep on going. I'm not interested in starting another race. I want to pick up where my ancestors left off. So there must be pan-African loyalty and legacy. I am a part of that which went before me. And when I am gone, whatever lessons I leave behind, my children and your children are going to pick that up and continue the legacy. One race. Unity, power, nationhood, and honor is the motto of the International Movement for the Independence and Protection of African People. But our slogan is Pan-African Nationalism here, there, and everywhere. And our other slogan is one race. Our punchline, one race, not one religion, okay, not one class system, one race. That's what we are about. One race.